hello guys today's tutorial is an everyday tutorial which you can carry out like on your office or you can carry out this look when you're going to some anywhere like in a, in a casual parties or like if you're going with your friends or uh, for a movie you can carry out this look so i will be making uh, or doing this look with the help of this clinique uh, travel kit and it has four eyeshadows so you can see and this is actually the one that I really really like and what I do I usually keep this kit whenever I have to travel and uh, you can create lots of beautiful look just with the, these four colors so I will start my look with the NYX above and beyond concealer and with the help of flat brush I will actually apply it all over my eyes because it's an everyday look so you can use the Maybelline Concealer Age Rewind that's also a good choice or usually when I go outside I avoid concealer I don't know I just apply my BB cream or something and now with the help of a sponge I will just set it out uh, because this look is a natural look so I'm using this pencil and I will I will not just over define my eyebrows or anything else I will just do a bit of uh, like just I will fill some of the of some of my eyebrows so with the help of this brush you can see I've just brushed out my eyebrows and it's a brown sort of color and that's done I don't want to do more because we are doing somewhat natural look so in natural in daily wear we actually don't do all these things we don't do too much eyebrows or then I'm using this money so pour and with the help of same sponge I'm actually setting my concealer so what shade I will first take I'm taking this this shade which is very I don't know what's the color yeah it's written blush soft shimmer it's written there usually I love these brushes which come with the help of in these palettes and I think I will I will show you how you can use them you can use them in here I don't know why no makeup artist they use these brushes I really don't know and why if nobody wants to use them why they are still coming in the in your makeup palettes and if you are a beginner use these brushes trust me and I'm doing I'm applying it And then the next thing I will do, I will take this body shop brush and I will take this color which is dark brown soft matte and I will take a small one just do this and first I will I do I will do in this eye and we are we are actually creating a V outer V or crease but you can see I'm not dragging it there I just want to blend it there and I'm dragging this like outside uh, why I'm doing this because when you drag your eyeshadow outside it makes your eyes look more elongate and my eyes they are round so when I do this this makes my eyes more like the almond shape and if you're if you have a small eyes it will also make your eyes look like more bigger and I'm just also creating a bit of V here and then I will so in the end you see I'm just dragging my brush not before that now I will use my NYX cosmetics blending brush and I will blend this so whenever you do blending you do blending in a circular motion and then I'm I will apply this eyeshadow which is a sort of shimmer and it's it's mink soft shimmer I'm just making outer V because come on everyday makeup look also should look like a a glamorous look so I'm not dragging it more I have just stop it there and then with the brush I will again blend out everything 
So I will first blend the edges and the outer one. Now the next step is this shade which is actually precious pink super shimmer and I'm using again this is uh, this applicator I actually do makeup with the help of these applicator when I travel I don't usually take much brushes with me I already have lots of luggage whenever I travel these brushes work as like your when you apply something with your finger they actually define color a lot more and here we go so you can see literally I am not seeing anything on the camera like very nothing is very much prominent everything is so blended and looking so like you can carry out this look anywhere Next thing what I will do, I'm taking this brush and I will drag that the pink color, the precious pink super shimmer color. I will drag this color here because Okay, so I'm using actually body shop pencil. I have just switched my idea from black to brown. Brown is more like I, I really prefer brown when you really want a soft look. Actually, uh, I will make V, but from here I will I will just make close close it here. I will not do all over my eye but I will drag it from here to here so for upper eyelid it's full but for lower eyelid it's half okay then every body shop pencil has these sort of sponge in the end and you have to blend everything So at this point I am blending my eye pencil with the rest of my makeup with my eye shades with everything you can also take any brush and you can do that a smaller brush will do definitely and then I am blending in the end so now you can see my eyes they are looking more like open and a V. I'm just dragging a bit here but you can see this this is darker here and a bit lighter here it's not that exact darker so the trick is you bring the color from here to here you don't apply color here if you really want a lighter look if you want a darker look just apply it all over then you can do another thing if you really want it's optional it's not necessary but you can apply this NYX pencil which is this is NYX white pearl pencil and I will apply it under under I will tight line my eyes the pencil you can see it has actually opened up my eyes and still it's not like the exact same NYX jumbo pencil it's a bit different so after this I'm using my curler eyelash curler and then I'll finish this look with Clinique Mascara which is high impact mascara this was actually with the kit with the travel kit so usually I just keep the kit and it has its own eye pencil that I didn't use I finished my second eye and then I'll show you how this look will look uh, will look like on both both of my eyes so you can see my this eye is it's also getting a puffy I don't know why but this eye is looking totally different and this one is looking totally different it's more open more white and because of white white eye pencil white pearl eye pencil it's not that prominent but it's also looking very beautiful so this is the final look and you can see you can carry out this look like in your office in your workplace in your with your friends 
and all you have to do uh, you have to either if, if you really don't want uh, and you want to keep that look more simple you can just remove the you know the uh, eye pencil I have applied under my eye but as I have uh, smooth out and I have blend everything out so you can see there is no harsh line this makeup is looking so blended and the thing which I want to tell you like you can pair this look with the uh, I usually actually wear this Clinique uh, lipstick which color is plump pop and it's a very very beautiful a uh, pink sort of color and it suits on me actually a lot I think it, it will suit on uh, like lots of like lots of colors and it's very soft and I'm not doing any advertising of Clinique but uh, this one you can apply or you can apply any any soft nude sort of or pink sort of color with this eye so it will actually complement and it will balance your all eye makeup look so whenever we say like it's an everyday makeup look it's just not your eyes but also your lips so you have to make one thing prominent and one thing soft so at this point you will make your lips soft with the with this color or with any other soft color you have like i have another uh, pink lipstick i would can i can apply this makeup or either i have this pink which i actually i have finished i think i tried to make some custom lipstick at that time or i have this l'oreal one i can go with this one so you can actually apply any 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 lipstick which is soft in color with with this so